Good evening, everybody. Hobie Reaver here with Keller Williams Realty. How you all doing? So I am going to start something new today. I have um, really gotten into cooking recipes that I get from some of these uh, cooking uh, meal prep places. These are the ingredients that you get. Get everything you need. And then this is the recipe card. The front of it shows you picture and then this shows you and then it will show you what you need it gives you everything you need except the oil salt and pepper vinegar and butter but I'm gonna start calling this recipes and real estate so I recently did a survey and got a bunch of questions that people were curious about about real estate so today as I'm cooking this meal called sirloin steak Ah, Pavare, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's probably French. And I'm going to talk about one of the questions I got from one of my old, um, clients was, when is the right time to buy? So I'm gonna discuss that as I'm preparing this recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've already started the oven. Um, I've already done a couple things. I just um, cut up the onion so you didn't have to see me cry, which I did. And so now I'm gonna prepare the carrots. That's kind of the first step. It's really cool because they give you the very, um, I mean, pretty much step by step. I tried a couple other plans and I didn't like those as well. Um, the Martha Stewart ones came pretty well um, prepped. Uh, we got the HelloFresh ones are really good. I really like those as well. Um, we got some from Hungry Root. Um, I didn't really like how those came. I didn't really care for their recipes. We did get some from uh, Blue Apron as well. And I really, I really liked those. Um, when I'm done, I'm gonna try several of these services. I've actually got meals coming from Home Chef and um, another one, I can't remember what the name of it was. But I'm gonna try several different ones because we're gonna keep doing this. It's, it's saved us a lot of money. Uh, because we don't go to the store and they just, the meals come and we prepare them and eat them. They've been super good. And I'm gonna do all of these uh, programs and then I'm going to summarize it as, uh, so people can say, you know, I was thinking about trying one of these and then I'll say, Here's was, here was our experience. I'm gonna peel the potato, uh, carrots. I said potatoes because a lot of these meals do have potatoes. This particular one has carrots and spinach. So I'm just gonna, uh, as I'm peeling these carrots, I'm gonna start talking about my real estate question. So the question was, when is the right time to buy? So I did take some notes so I could be prepared. And when people ask me that question, when's the first best time to buy real estate? In my opinion, the best time to buy real estate was 10 years ago, but obviously we can't go back in time and hopefully you did buy some real estate 10 years ago. Um, but if, if it wasn't 10 years ago or it wasn't last week or it wasn't last month or, or whatever, I would say the best time to buy real estate is now uh, because it's never gonna be any different than it is now. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna see some changes. The real estate, real estate's always going up and down. I mean, it's not gonna continue to grow every year after year, month after month week after week, and, and the rates, we gotta keep that into consideration. There was um, some questions about rates. I'm not gonna cover a big deal on the rates, but I'm gonna kinda talk about what they do to the buying the real estate. So the question is, when's the best time to buy real estate? So my answer is now. And, um, what, and, and then I'm sure some of you were gonna say, well, if I, what if I buy today, or this week or month and I close, and then um, six months from now, real estate goes down. That's great, it probably will. And, um, it, or it could, it depends on the area. It depends on where you're, what you buy and, and where it's at. Every market's a little bit different. I like to focus on your market. So if you ask me that question you're, and you live in Olathe, Kansas, I'm gonna say, okay, let's look and see what's happening in Olathe, Kansas, because I don't wanna give you all of Kansas City if you're not concerned about all of Kansas City. So um, historically, real estate has been a good investment. I just did a little research before 
talking about this. So I got all my carrots cut up or peeled. So now I'm gonna cut these into little pieces. It said, cut them into angled pieces, one and a half inch thick. Um, looks like they're fairly long pieces. So not like little chips, but um, I'm gonna cut them up and add them to this bowl. So I was talking about um, what historically re uh, real estate has done. And I'm gonna give you a few examples too of like kind of what's happened with me. Um, just full disclosure. And so if I looked at Kansas and Missouri, because I'm sure most of the people watching this are going to be from Kansas and Missouri, because that's my market. Um, if you looked at the last 20 years, what's happened with real estate in both Kansas and Missouri from January 2020, uh, and we looked at up to 20 years of the chart that I looked at, real estate went up 103%. So question is, so if you bought a house for 200,000 in 2020, so today that house would be worth probably 400,000. So you've doubled your money because it went up 100%. So that's a pretty good investment. Now. Did it, was it always going like this? No, it went this, and then it goes down a little bit and cracks, then it goes up, and then it goes down, then it goes up. Because, you know, if you looked at um, uh, 20, 2006, it started going down. I got in the market in 2005, um, it was a really good market. Then as soon as I got into real estate, it started going down. So 2006, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 is what happened to me. And then 12, like, we started seeing it go up. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, in my opinion, I think it's kind of peaked and I think it's gonna maybe stay to level, maybe go down a little bit and before it starts going back up. But that being said, it's always gonna go up, right? So um, you're gonna see better than um, you might see in the stock market. Um, you gotta live somewhere. And if you, guess what? If you pay rent, you're not gonna build anything up. So if you bought a house today, and in 30 years, you've paid for it because you did a 30-year 30, 30 mortgage. It's going to be worth whatever it is worth then, probably double what it would be worth today, if not more. And you've built that equity, and then that's your money to do whatever you want with it. If Let's say you said, I don't want to buy real estate because it goes up, it goes down. It's not a good investment, whatever, which is wrong. Um, rent, you're paying 100% interest on rent. So you're... Um, uh, you wouldn't have anything to show for it, except you made a landlord, somebody who invests in real estate, rich. So I'm gonna take a pause right there and I'm gonna go back to the recipe. So let's go back, I cut up the carrots. Um, I'm gonna, it said to toss those with one tablespoon of oil and salt and pepper. So I've got my little um, olive oil here, so I'm gonna just put that on there. I'm gonna put, I don't measure a lot of stuff. Um, I'm gonna put my salt and pepper in there. I'm gonna toss it. And then I'm gonna put that on. It. I've already um, preheat the oven. I'm gonna pour these on a pan. So I'm gonna just put these on a pan um, just so they're nice and even and single layer. I'm gonna put those in the oven because they need to cook 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so as I'm uh, getting the carrots ready, they're going to take 15 to 20 minutes to cook. That's going to be about 7, 10 or so. I need to put the timer on. I'm going to, uh, next step was to cut up my onions, which I've done. Then I'm going to, in a, in a small bowl, I'm going to make um, the sauce that I'm going to use for the steak. So what that is going to be the Dijon, a uh, tablespoon of Dijon. Doesn't tell me if I needed to use both of these or just one. So I'm gonna open one up. I'm gonna get a tablespoon because it did say a tablespoon. So I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, actually I do need both of them. They're usually pretty good about these recipes. Sometimes I, what I found is if you, um, are, you can buy like either for two people or for four. 
Some of these, if you buy for, um, if you need three or maybe four, and you're not huge eaters, just buy it for two. And a lot of these you can um, just add a protein. Like we're, we, they provided the steak, but maybe this was 10 ounces of steak, so five ounces per person. So let's say you're gonna have three people use it. You might just pick up another little piece of steak because the rest of it seems to be a lot more than you need. So I'm gonna finish this Dijon beef broth concentrate, which is right here. Half a cup of water. These meals have really like helped me learn how to cook. I've made a lot of good sauces. And some of the sauces will, you know, we've got the recipes now. And some of these recipes we've even made um, after the fact, because we keep them all, we put them in a binder. And some of them are, and we write notes on them. Some of them are super good. Most of them have been really good. So a lot of good flavor. Um, oh, and a tablespoon of vinegar. You know what? Sometimes I'll save a little bit of um, ingredients uh, from, we'll have extras, so I save it all. And I thought I had a little bit of vinegar left over, but I didn't, so I just had what we had at home. All right, so there's our sauce. Now, next step. Next step is to cut up the steaks while I'm doing that. I'm going to, uh, all right, so my next step in my uh, real estate talk is the rates. I'm gonna talk about just rates, just a hair. A lot, so many people right now are like, well, the rates are going up, maybe I should wait. I really, I mean, from what I've been hearing in the industry, I don't think we're gonna see rates go down uh, much less than say 5%. So, um, right now we're sitting at, you know, between six and seven and people are like, oh my God, that's, that's so, those rates are so high, but historically they're really not. I mean, in, um, 2000, they were 8%, 2010, they were about 5%, 2020, they got down to like three. And then there was even some rates under that, but the average rate since 1971 has been 7.75%. So, um, that really, you know, we're, we're lower than that right now. And if you wait for the rates to go down, guess what? Then your prices are higher. So you might get a little bit lower rate, but you're paying a higher price. So payment wise, you're the same. And you would, you know, if you get a little bit higher rate, but you get a better price, you can always refinance when they go down. Say they're at seven today and in a year or year and a half, two years, they're down to five, five and a half, you can always refinance. It doesn't cost much to refinance. So um, I've got interesting, I'm gonna go to my next step so I don't get off track on this recipe. So the steaks said to rub all over with one teaspoon of oil and season all over with salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna heat a medium heavy skillet over medium high heat and the steaks cook until well brown, medium rare, about three minutes per side, and then I'm gonna transfer those to a cutting board. So I just like to pour a little bit of oil in the pan and get that heated up. Actually, I was supposed to put the meat, <laughs> I was supposed to put the oil on the meat. So I'm gonna take that oil and just put it all over the, on the meat because then they'll have the oil on them so when I I'm gonna start heating the pan and then I'm gonna take the salt and pepper did I tell you guys that I don't like to be on video but I think um, I don't know, trying to change do some different things for my business and everything so I'm gonna put these in the pan, start cooking those, get those going. And then while um, those are cooking, uh, then I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take those out and then I'm gonna take that skillet and I'm gonna put some of the onions in there, all but a little bit of it. And then I'm gonna add the, uh, they call that the mustard beef broth mixture. Then I'm gonna cook that um, 
in there for one to two minutes and I'm gonna remove it from the heat. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter and then I'm gonna stir uh, stir that around. So the, then I'm gonna add the meat to it and then I'm going to whisk together two tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon of vinegar and the remaining onions into the spinach for the salad, adding um, salt and pepper. And then um, hopefully the carrots are done by then. So let's get that meat cooking. So I was talking about the interest rate. So this is interesting. So everybody talks about the rates. And um, so every 1% that the interest rate is, for every $100,000 that you borrow, it's a difference of $67. So let's say you were going to buy a, you know, uh, $300,000 house and, uh, or you were going to finance $300,000 and you, the rate's 7.25. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to wait for the rate to go down. And then the rate goes down to 1%, right? You're still borrowing the same amount of money. You're saving $67 a month in a payment from that, that just the difference of that rate. And so basically, if that house goes up much more and you get a little bit lower rate, it's going to be the same payment. So you might as well just buy now so you get into your house that you want to get into. And then you can um, always refinance later if the rates go down. And like I said before, rent is always 100% interest. So just to recap, when is the right time to buy? The right time to buy is now, um, or it was before. Um, so just to, just a little example for you guys. Um, I waited and waited and waited. I wanted to buy a condo in Branson for a long time. We just always talked about it, um, never did it. And we'd go down there and we'd say, every time we went down there, we'd rent a condo and we'd say, why, didn't we, why don't we buy one of these? So when we come down, we can use it and we can rent it out, whatever. So I did it, you know, I finally, finally, to, during the pandemic 2020, I decided to do it. And so my first condo I bought down in Branson was a, um, and I thought it was kind of expensive. <laughs> it was 145, uh, I think it was listed for 145 or 150. Um, I ended up buying that for $145,000 for a three-bedroom, three-bathroom condo, completely furnished. Yeah, I've had to do a little bit to it, but not a whole lot. Um, I'm going to change this meat real quick. All right, so let's let that meat cook. So um, I'm going to rinse off my board. Uh, so I bought this condo for $145,000, right? And I thought that was a lot and, and, and whatever. So, you know, I could have... Said, oh, I'm gonna wait and see if it'll go any cheaper. What if I, and if, guess what, if I had? You know what that's worth today? And it's only been two years. It was November, December, January, February, March. Two years and three, three to four months later, I could probably sell that condo for probably 300 to 325. So had I waited, I, I wouldn't have bought it because it would have been more than I was going to spend. So, um, you know, now I don't think we're going to see that kind of appreciation down there again on those. So um, it's a little bit not as great a time to buy them, although they still cash flow. I just did I did just close on one, which was a two bedroom, two bath, a um, little bit bigger unit. And it was nice. And it was uh, 190. So it was about seven square footage, but it was uh, just a two bedroom, two bath. And like, it's probably worth furnished and, and doing a little bit of work to it, 250. So the best time to buy real estate is now. So if you're thinking about buying real estate, whether it's a personal home um, or a, a uh, vacation rental or long-term rental that you wanna rent out, um, would love to talk to you about that. Um, and show you some examples and show you some properties that you could get. But don't wait. If you're ready and you've got a down payment, you've got good credit, you've got a good job, and you're renting and you're throwing away that money and, and giving it to your landlord, um, put that money into your pocket. Build some equity. It may not. Your first house may not be your dream house, um, and I tell people that all the time. You know, your first house, my first house wasn't my dream house. In fact, my, the house now is not my dream house. So it's always, you know, we've moved several, many, many, many times. Um, but your first house uh, might be the vehicle to get you to your dream house, build up that equity. 
So you have a bigger down payment and then you can um, put that bigger down payment into a bigger, nicer house if that's what you want to do. Or another strategy is build some equity, use that equity to finance uh, vacation rentals or rental homes or flip. Who would, You might want to flip a house. So right now, um, it's the best time to buy is now. So you can do it, do it. Um, don't wait. You'll regret it. And then let's get back to our meat. We like our uh, meat a little bit more done. So as that's finishing up cooking, I'm going to go ahead and um, make our salad dressing. And basically all that is, is two tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon of vinegar. We use a, we use a lot of olive oil. The two table, what did I say two? Two tablespoons of oil. I think that was it. We need some more. Some vinegar. And I'm, I'm just using apple cider vinegar. This one, they didn't provide this. On the HelloFresh ones, they actually provide, usually they send you the vinegar. They won't send you the olive oil. Unless it is part of a salad dressing, they usually will send it. Um, uh, some of the chopped onions, about a tablespoon of the chopped onions, so I'm going to put a little bit of chopped onions in there. Because I'm going to cook the rest of these. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to toss that together. And then I'm going to put that uh, right in the salad. And then when we get ready to eat it, I'll just mix that up real good. It's kind of just a plain basic spinach salad with that dressing on there. All right, so let's fi figure out where we're at on this meat. While that's finished, I'm gonna check the carrots. Yeah, the carrots still have a little bit of time to go. So um, while those are um, finishing up and the uh, meat's finishing cooking, um, I'm just gonna recap um, that real estate in the last, you know, in 20 years time went up 103%. Um, rates have gone down but the average is 7.75 percent and for every hundred thousand dollars extra um well every hundred thousand dollars an extra percentage either up or down changes your payment by 67 dollars and so and the last point would be rent is a hundred percent interest so i'm going to go ahead and while that meat's finishing up and the carrots are finished up i'm going to stop this video and then um, when everything's done, I'll come back on and kind of show you how it ended. All right, I want to come back on and I've taken the meat out of the skillet and I'm gonna let those rest. And then I put the onions in the skillet. I'm just gonna cook those. So I can cook those about 30 seconds or so. And then I'm gonna add our uh, mixture, our mustard beef broth mixture. And then I'm going to cook that for one to two minutes. And then I'm going to remove that from the heat. And I'm going to get some butter to put in there. This is probably going to splatter. How much butter? One tablespoon. There's my one tablespoon of butter. Make sure that I get this right. Scraping up around bits until sauce is reduced by half, one to two minutes. Remove from the heat and stir in one tablespoon of butter. Stir in any resting steak juices from the cutting board, which are arch some. Yeah, this looks good, it smells good. I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. Cooking's kind of fun. Once you get used to it and you start doing it, um, it's actually pretty enjoyable. And it's actually been pretty good food to eat. So, all right, let me finish that up. So if you have any other real estate questions, let me know. Um, I've got quite a few that I've got to answer and I'm gonna do those with some recipes. I might do some other things too, like answer them while I'm showing maybe some home maintenance tips or things like that. Um, so, but if you have anything, you can email me, hobie, H-O-B-I-E, at kcbesthomes.com. Uh, you can email me those 
questions and I will answer those on another episode, I guess you could call this. You can find us at um, YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel, and then I'm going to post this on Facebook and on YouTube as well. All right, I think that's reduced down enough, so I'm going to add the butter to it. And then I'm going to take these steaks, I'm going to take them off of this cutting board. I hope those are done. And then I'm going to put this juice in there. Alright, as that's finishing melted down, then I've got the salad ready. Then I'm gonna slice the steaks and then I'm gonna spoon that sauce. So basically the way this looks is I'm gonna prepare the plates with the carrots, the salad, and then the steak, and then I'm gonna pour that sauce on the steaks. I'm gonna see about cutting these steaks up and see how they look. Hopefully they're Oh, those are perfect. So I'm gonna make like about mm, four per pieces per person. This one's a little redder because it was a little bit fatter, thicker. But it, ooh, that looks good. Now I'm gonna show you these. We've got some special bowls that we make our meals in. So we've got these nice, they're like big serving bowls, the kind of plates. So we use those for prep. All right, the sauce is ready, so I'm gonna take that off the heat. Now it's just going to get poured on the steak. I'm going to check. I'm going to go ahead and put the... Take my plates. Put the meat in there. Meat in... Put the meat in there. Those look good. I kind of like to clean up my mess as I go. And then I'm going to take the salad. I'm going to take some tongs. Just kind of mix that up. I'm not sure about this salad. It's kind of basic. So I'm going to put, I don't know how to put all that on there. There's quite a bit of salad. And I'm going to put some on each one. Then I'm going to get out the carrots. I'm gonna check those carrots. So the carrots, they look pretty good. They're kind of fat, so. Super good. Hot. I'm gonna put those back in for just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna let the carrots finish up, and then I will come back with a final plate. Back for the final. Thing. I've got the carrots out of the oven. So they turned out pretty good. They're a little dark on the bottom. So I might have overcooked them. <laughs> but I think they'll be, they'll be good. Um, at least they'll be done. They won't be too crunchy. So the, my hand's burning. Got the carrots in the bowl. I'm just trying to get it split 50 50. Although I eat more than Bridget does. And then I'm going to take. So I'm going to take the, the remaining the sauce that we made. It actually looks really good. I'm going to taste that. Pretty good. Then I'm going to put that on the steak. Quite a bit of onions in there. All right, so that's it. So we have our sirloin steak a pavara, whatever the heck that means. It's a piece of steak with some sauce on it, some roasted carrots, and a nice spinach salad. It's a light dressing. It's ready to eat. And we talked about buying real estate. 
you have any questions, let us know. Uh, thanks for hanging in there on our first ever installment of recipes and real estate. And hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know.